Heidi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here tonight, along with my son Nathaniel. Say hey, Nathaniel. Hey. Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to put up a new ceiling fan, okay? We're going to take down an old one, put up a new one inside the house. Real quickly, I was looking through the Lowe's Flyer yesterday, and they had the 4th of July special, and they had this Harbor Breeze 52-inch ceiling fan, 5-blade, on special for $39.99, okay? And we decided that we need to replace the two in our living room area here. We have two old SMCs that are actually about wore out. The motors have gotten to wear on high speed. It's about like a fan running on low speed, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this one right quick. And just to show you the one, if you'll pan the camera right up here on the one that we just installed, this is what we're getting ready to replace right there, guys. And we already got that one installed. It's nice and quiet. Nice and balanced. Didn't even have to do, use the balancing kit on it. Okay, first thing Nathaniel's gonna do is go ahead and start assembling these um, fan blades while I go ahead and start tearing down this old fan. And we're just gonna watch him knock one out right quick. He has uh, some screws and some washers that come with the kit. And he's gonna go ahead and just install those three and tighten all those down for me. And he's gonna work on this for a little bit while I start taking the fan down. Now let me also mention to you guys, uh, not a whole lot of tools required to do this job. We brought in a couple Phillips head screw, screwdrivers just so we'd both have one. And actually the little pair of wire snippers, in case I wanted to skin back a little bit more wire on the electrical connections, that's all the tools we have in here, right Nathaniel? Yep. That's it, that's all it takes to do this job. So I'm gonna move on up here and start tearing this fan down while Nathaniel's working on these. Okay, folks, first thing I wanna let you know, I've already cut the power off on this ceiling fan, okay? Most important thing to do before you start doing this just for safety issue. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is take the light fixture out and there's three Phillips head screws. There's one right here, there's one right here, over here where my finger is, and there's one right here. We're gonna pull all three of those out and we should be able to drop the light fixture out of the way. So let me go ahead and start on that. Oh, that one just about fell out on me, guys. Okay, with the fixture down here, we almost dropped it on ourselves, but that's all right. There is two little push connectors right here and we should be able to just pull these apart and then we can go ahead and lay the fixture out of the way. Next guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove all, five, all four of these fan blades here, and each one of them are held in place. If you can see, there's two screws holding each fan blade in place, and you can remove those with a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these and move on with this process. Now with all four of the fan blades removed and out of the way, we're gonna remove this cover here, okay? Now, if you look up here, there's two screws right here, Phillips head on this side, and there's two on the opposite side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and back all four of these screws out, and this cover should drop right out of place. Okay, with that um, cover removed, actually right up here, if you'll look, there's a little bracket here, and there's two Phillips head screws. This plate will come, out of, out of, um, come off of here as soon as I get the two screws out, and then I'll be able to slide this whole motor assembly out of here and disconnect the wiring. So let me go ahead and back those screws out. Now after that cover is removed, there's a ground wire right here and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it and pull it out of the way. And then we're ready to take this unit and slide it out of that bracket and gently tug on our wires until we get them all pulled down here to where we can disconnect our black wire, our white wire, and our ground wire. So I'm gonna work on that for just a moment and then we'll move on. Okay folks, real quick thing I just wanna show you about electrical. Uh, the black wire is your hot wire, okay? And if you'll notice that the black wire on the motor is attached to that as long as the red wire. And the red wire actually has written on it light fixture, okay? So both of those are hot. We're gonna go ahead and remove the wire nut here, okay? And then we can uh, pull these two wires off of here. 
We also have the white wire is your neutral wire. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect it and pull it out of the way as well. And then uh, it don't even look like the ground wire was even hooked up. Oh, yo, that's right, because it, remember the one I unscrewed? That was actually mounted to the motor right there. So that's where the ground wire was hooked and that was properly done. Okie doke, let's move on. Okay, now for the final thing, here's to remove this bracket off of the box and there's a screw on each side. Here's one right here, there's one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and back these out and then we'll get this old bracket off of here. Okay, folks, we're gonna go ahead and take the brand new bracket that come with the fan and we're gonna go ahead and run the wires through the center of it. And then we're going to install our screws. I'm just gonna use the screws that actually come out that held the uh, old bracket in place. And we will start these and run these up here and tighten them down. Okay, I've already got this bracket installed. One thing I forgot to do, the two screws that, actually, that are on each side that hold this uh, trim piece in place are installed. And I forgot to do this on this one, but as you can see, we have a little notch out right there. So we're gonna back this one out, but we're gonna remove this one. Same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go and get these removed, get these backed out, so when we get ready to install this, we can just latch it up into place. Okay, before we go up top to put the motor in place, first thing we'll do, all the fan blade screws all the way around here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of those, okay? And on this bracket, there's two screws on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those as well. Careful not to mix these up with the fan blade screws. Okay, we're getting ready to uh, install this motor into place just real quickly. Kind of backtrack, we have a neutral wire, a hot wire, and a ground wire up here. And on our new motor, we have a black wire. That's for the motor, white wire is the neutral. Blue wire on this one is for the light fixture. And we also have a ground, and we'll make connection with the wire nut over here. Uh, Nathaniel, hand me one of the screws. We have these four screws that I just removed, and we're gonna go ahead and set this in place. And the way that you do that is you slide one side of it up in this little uh, bracket far enough to where you can get the other side in there and then you slide back. And it has these two little locking tabs. See, I can let go of the motor now and it's fine. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now I gotta start and tighten down four screws. Two on this side, two on this side. So let me get that done and then we'll move okay, on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start making these connections. You might not be able to see exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna start with the ground wire. So our ground wire on our hard wiring is the uh, wire with no insulation on it, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and uh, twist your 18 gauge wire here, stranded wire in a clockwise motion. We're gonna wrap it around the solid uh, copper wire in a clockwise motion. Okay, Nathaniel, hand me one of those wire nuts. And we're gonna go ahead and twist that into place. And go ahead and screw it down pretty tight, okay? And then give a slight tug on your green wire just to make sure it's nice and connected, okay? And then we can go ahead and tuck that one out of the way. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do our white wire next. So we'll take our hard wire, solid wire. We'll take the stranded wire, wrap it around the wire in a clockwise motion. And we'll do the same thing. Install our wire nut. And tighten it down as well, okay? We'll tighten it down until you get a little bit of twist and then tug on your wire a little bit just to make sure that it's in there secure. Now, for the last connection will be your hot wire, the black wire. And we're gonna go ahead and take from the motor the black wire that runs the motor and the blue wire that runs the light. That's both the 18 gauge stranded wire. Go ahead and twist that together in a clockwise motion. And then we will take it and hold it up against the black wire. Wrap it around in a clockwise motion as well. And finally, install our wire nut. And that's all the connections that need to be made. And after I do this, I will tuck all of these back up in here to make sure that they do not rub up against the fan motor. 
All right, with the wires all tucked neatly in place and making sure that they will not hit the fan in any way, shape, or fashion, we're gonna go ahead and install this cover. Notice the notch here. Like I was telling you earlier, we took the one bolt out. So let me start over here on the other side. We'll going to get it up around the screw, and then we'll push this one up around the screw as well, making sure the little rubber piece stays there because that kind of helps uh, keep down vibration. So now this is locked into place and we'll stay up there on its own. We're gonna go ahead and install this screw and the other one on the other side and tighten all four of them down. Now with our cover installed and tightened down, it's time to go ahead and put the ceiling uh, fan blades on here. And Nathaniel's already got all these uh, tightened down for me. And we're just going to grab one screw at a time and a blade. And we're just gonna go up here and find a hole and go ahead and get that started not to tighten it all the way down until we get the next screw he's gonna hand me another one and we're going to get it started and then we can go ahead and snug both of these down and move on to the next blade now i'm gonna go ahead and get all these installed and then we'll move on to the next step Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and mount our light fixture, but it does have three screws holding it, and we need to go ahead and remove all three of these before we set it in place. Okay, we're getting ready to put this thing in place. Notice there is a little dimple right here, so this thing does kind of key in to one position, okay? And the little uh, dimple is right up here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and run our chain through the little hole on this side, if I can do that, okay? We'll run it through there and we have the chain for on the other side to run through a hole as well and then we can set this little thing in place uh, and it should be locked right in where that dimple is and then this here is actually the most difficult part about the whole thing is you got to get up here real high hand me one of those screws Nathaniel and you've got to reach through here and actually get these screws started okay and I'm going to go ahead and work on that, and we'll get these three in here and get them tightened down, and then we'll move on. Okay, now with the fixture installed, it's time to put the light bulb in. And we're going to screw that. Nathaniel's working on that. I guess I should let you climb up the ladder here, Nathaniel. There you go. You got it, buddy. All right, light bulb's tight. Now we can take the little fixture, and this is pretty cool. Uh, no screws or anything. It's just got a little notch here and some notches in here and you turn it till it fits into one and then turn it clockwise until it stops and there you go so now we're ready to try this thing out before we try this thing out we got to put our little chains on here and guys i want to show you um one of them has a picture of a fan on it so that you'll know it's for the fan and one's for the light nathaniel's going to hook that one up and i'm going to hook this one up and then we'll be ready to test this thing out can you get it son here, let me help you. I probably could reach a little better since I'm up here on the ladder. All right, Nathaniel, I'll let you do the honors, buddy. That's the light. Go ahead and cut that sucker on high. Let's see how it does. Hmm. It's moving pretty good. It's moving a lot better than the old fan that we had in here. Awesome. What do you think, Nathaniel? It's good. It's awesome. And, and we got the other one over there. Yep, we sure do. Okay, folks. Hey, that wraps it up for this video. We've got our new Harbor Breeze 52-inch fan installed. Hope you enjoyed the video and you found it very helpful. And Nathaniel, do you have anything you'd like to say? Please like, comment, and subscribe. And tell friends about this. That's right. And we'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.